It was just one night stands and hearing their pleasurable moments, to be honest, Your Honor. She's a manipulator. She's a liar. No, I'm not. I did not manipulate you. Whole time on the bus talk saying, oh, she got baby fever. That was actually him. And I basically was like, well. Your ex-boyfriend that you was with before you was with me? You don't want to. That's a lie. This is the same dude that she posted on her Facebook as her man crush Monday. Ms. Romulus narrates how her relationship with Mr. Seymour got to its current phase, where a paternity case is involved. Mr. Seymour tells the court how he began a doubt after he was made to believe the child was his. Ms. Romulus disputes this and explains what happened. We, were having, we had an argument and right? I had got mad and I was like, you know what, well, let me just put it out there that it might be a possibility somebody else is the father. As far as that, he's been there through this pregnancy. He's went to more than three did. doctor visits with me. And I was like, hey, you haven't even made an effort. You you know I'm pregnant when I'm craving well, something. I have to sit here and look crazy because I don't want to drive. Okay. Mr. Covington, the other potential father, sheds more light on the situation. And to be honest, I feel like the reason why I'm here is because of her. She She's a manipulator. She's a liar. No, I'm not. I did not manipulate you. So hold on. I brought Mr. Covington in here because I want to understand his side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, basically, she, she just, she feel like I'm a good man. I'm working, doing, taking care of my family, my brothers and nephews. So she feel like like I'm the guy for her to, to be this child because he's going to be responsible and he's going to do what he got to do to take care of this child. But I feel like if this his old lady and this his wife, his fiance, why can't he be the man? Ms. Shams lights up the court with her sweet words as she discloses what she would love to accomplish for this case. And this happens. When when she was going, my friend, she was still sneaking around with me anyway because he, I felt like he did it to me, so y'all together, I'm finna go and do, do what I gotta do. Yeah, okay, yeah, that did happen as well. So you were sleeping with both boys at the same time? Yes, ma'am. All right, you find out you're pregnant. You tell the other guy first. What was his response? Well, he was happy. He was happy. And so you also tell Mr. Hollis? I told him, like, not as soon as I got pregnant. He ended up finding out on the streets. But I ended up I, I telling th I him. I ended up telling him. I ended up telling him. And I ended up, he, I guess he ended up telling his mom as well. And I was telling them that it's a possibility that it can be him or the friend. I never told the friend that it can be a possibility with another guy. I only told his mother that it can be a possibility with another guy. And I never why'd told you the make other that guy. choice? Because I don't she know. Knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. But it doesn't end there as this also happened. So, Ms. Shans, if the other guy was at the birth, why are you now saying Mr. Hollis is the baby's father? Because, like, he, my baby look, had more futures than him than the other guy. Yes, he did. More he look, he did not look I'm none just like to the other guy son. at all. I, um, I, I um, FaceTimed her and told her that it looked like my, I said, um, Aiden looks like a mirror. And what did she say, Mom? Um, it's, it's a possibility. <laughs> so you admitted that it was a possibility? <laughs> yes, Your Honor, I did admit that it was a possibility. Okay, so from that point, when you decide the baby looks more like Mr. Hollis, does the other guy sign the birth certificate? No, he didn't have his ID at the time. That's, that's why he didn't sign it. He wasn't intending on signing it. Finally, the DNA test result reveals... Mr. Hollis, you are not the father. Ms. Richardson makes some mind-blowing statements regarding what led to her having a child with Mr. Smith. I can see that you decided you had fallen in love with him, and from there on, everything you heard come out his mouth, everything you saw was through the lens of love that you had created. Because he stood right here, and the second thing out of his mouth was, I really wouldn't have, wasn't trying to be with her that long, but if we wanted to have a baby and she wanted to do it, okay, everything is so nonchalant. Which was a lie, which is a lie. He definitely wanted to be with me. It's been times we've broken up and he has came back to me saying he wanted to be with me. He stayed with me for a year. Did he marry you? No. Okay. Oh. So let me, let me explain what being with you means and what being with you means. Now this is just woman to woman. You've got to be able to decide and be able to know the difference between being his comfort and his convenience and being the commitment. What I'm hearing now is, yeah, he might come back and forth and back and forth. That's because you let him. Yes, he wants to be with you in the bed. Mr. Smith tells the court how he went from being excited 
to having a paternity doubt. Were you excited about having a baby or what were you feeling? I actually was excited. Um, you was you were excited? Yes, ma'am. At what point do you feel doubtful then? Um, well, I was doubtful at the first. You were? Yes, ma'am, I was. Well, why you all had been planning for this? I thought she probably found somebody else outside of Job Corps or the, you know, probably got old friends. I called him every flames. day. He called me every day. I worked from 2 in the p.m. to 11 at night. So, there was no time I could cheat at all. I called him each time. Mr. Smith disagrees. He's shaking his head when you we testify. We were with each other almost every weekend. Every time I went home, he went home. What part of that story do you disagree with, Mr. Smith? The date. I don't remember coming home that day. Ms. Smith, Mr. Smith's twin sister, provides another perspective on the whole case. When we were cool with each other, um, you know, she would confide in me about my brother. Um, and I do know that they were planning to get, have a baby or whatever. And, you know, when she did tell him about it, he was excited about it to a certain extent. Um, at first, he didn't... So, he let, was yeah. excited? Yeah. And you remember this? Yeah. I remember. Okay, go ahead. At first, he didn't... He didn't tell me that he had any doubt about anything. It just, you know, progressed, um, I guess, with him even more when the pregnancy got further along and she, you know, her attitude is very, very vicious. She would say stuff um, that would, you know, make him even, make him feel even more like Kalani's not his daughter. I would hear voicemails. I would see messages. And what did these voicemails say? And what did these messages say? Um, she was upset at him. She just was saying how Kalani was sitting. She was with another dude and she was smiling and she was happy about the person. And some more backed up with evidence. They do not look nothing like except the yes, skin you color. You think he looks like him, I too? Like actually... Him. Looks, looks just, just like him. They do not look anything alike. I have like... evidence I would like to show. I'd like to see that. Okay. What is this evidence, Ms. What Smith? this picture is, it's a picture of Kalani, and it's a picture of me when I was four months old. Um, and with Bobby, me and him being twins, I feel like she should look like me to a certain extent. Um, and, you know, she has the big eyes. I'll give her that. Just like her mother. But as far as the, the lips and the things of that nature, I just don't see it. Um, and honestly, I'm going to be truthful here. At first, I did think that Kalani was Bobby's. But after seeing all of these messages and seeing how she acts and all the things that she say, it is hard to believe. And then with the video, I never seen the dude um, in person. This is the same dude that she posted on her Facebook as her man crush Monday. Mr. Brock, the other potential father, gives his testimony in court. Finally, the DNA test result reveals. Mr. Brock or Mr. Smith is the father of eight-month-old Kalani Smith. It has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Smith. Mr. Harris gets real with the court as he discloses the nature of his relationship with Ms. Galloway. DCF has been trying to get in contact with him. That's a lie. I, I just, I call him, when are you going to take the paternity test? Because they're looking for you. Oh, you can just give them my number. Give them your number. No, they need your address. They need That's to know who you true, are. That's not true, because you've been calling my other DCF baby mama in the inbox and DCF Facebook. said, hey, we've been, we send this, these things to two different addresses. We've been trying to get to him, but we can't get to him. Mr. Samuel III, the other potential father, claims he's not the father of the twins in his testimony. No, oh, ma'am, I am not the father of the twins. Look, 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 look at him, y'all know. That, that, come on now, look at him, look at the babies. <laughs> think about it. Ray is known as being a hoe. Okay, okay let's speak respectfully. Say it nicely. I'm sorry, y'all know. Okay, well, he's known for being a dog. I'm a wait, dog. Wait, what are you? Wait, your wait, wife okay, know okay. you here right well, now? Okay, okay. We, your wife we, even know you oh, down okay, here okay, right okay, now. Okay, we, well, okay, we had the same past. We did. I mean, we my did. Women did you we chase? Did. Like, come on, Lonnie. Let's okay, be okay. Yeah, you yeah, I did. Story? Yeah, How I chased it. Yeah, I chased. Chase? Come on, I chased it. How many, I chased did it. Did your ex-wife leave you because no, actually, you we got actually, divorced? No, you we got your wife divorced. got divorced because we you got slept divorced. with the woman I was with. Come okay, on, listen, Mr. Samuels, you say you've never had a sexual relationship with Miss Galloway. No, uh, what is your relationship like with the twins? Um, basically, when she had the twins, like I got remarried, so me and my wife went over there to the house. And you know we seen the babies and the thing about when I when I picked them up, I said, oh yeah, I knew who the father is. These twins, they basically oh, like is oh, he, they, they look just like him. After all has been said, the paternity test results reveal, Mr. Samuel, you 
are not the father. <laughs> Mr. Harris, you are the twins' father. Yeah.